V over there said his name. Yes. yes. So who wants to do a recap? Hey. On me. The kobold. Oh. Alright, Medic, That's go ahead and do a recap, because we will be starting with you anyways. Alright. After a long, long day, and hearing a lot of satyrs screams and crying and what? <laughs> I went to the village and I was like having a great time with the elders there. And I was like cooking marshmallows with them. We were like singing songs of Kumbaya and being like, she played in family, she played in English, but she fell in love with an Englishman. And they were like super fucking like chill and stuff. And uh, after that, it was like, she didn't exist in this world. Yes. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, thank you, old man. I hope my money gives you a happy life and you guys have the best life and the best time of your life with the rest of you, what you have for life. And they're like, yeah, good, good, come on, go on, yeah, Ben, person. And uh, I like, and that's it. That, that's it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. Anyone want to give a uh, slightly more detailed version of events? No. Not it. Fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. Um, so last time on D&D, oh, we... Um, I'm trying to remember where we started because we were... So um, you started on a bridge where you oh had my to wait in line. <laughs> no! Not that! Far back? <laughs> That's way far back. That's where anyway, you started. yeah, it, it is where we started on a bridge, waiting in line to enter Argentus. I know. Um, so long story short, V goes to find um Toma or Mama Swifttail, as he calls her. Um, he goes through a portal. And portal leads to all the other dragons. Um, he explains to the dragons what happened. And they meet us at the base of the mountain where we wait for V. Um, uh, what? Corin- Corindia? Is that her name? Cor- Corindia. Corindia. It comes from the, the, the Corundium. Okay, so Corundia. I was I was close. I was close for remembering it off the top of my head. Anyway, Corundia um, opens up this massive door. I don't think anybody else saw it, but we all went inside. Um, and we were all trying to figure out essentially how we can defeat the regent. So we, um, Anna kind of shot a couple of ideas. Like, is there anything we can craft? Is there an item that we can pick up? Is there... Um, you know, is there anything that we can do to defeat the regent and separate him from Null? Um, or the power of Null? Um, and we came to the conclusion that there is, there are seven pieces of the staff that, um... Uh, I forget the name of the staff. I'm sorry, Fenwick, but there are seven pieces of the staff that could potentially we could help forge into an appropriate weapon to defeat the regent. To, to clarify, and, they didn't give you an actual name. They just described it as an octagonal rod. As okay. its name, it is unknown to them. They do not actually know the name of the device. Okay, cool. So I didn't know the name anyway in character. Awesome. You would have um, known that it was called like the octagonal rod or the seven. Octagonal. Rod. Okay. Octagonal. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> anyway, so long story short, um, I mentioned <clears throat> going to Mephistopheles, and I was, you know, because you know he's a person of knowledge he would know where to start to find all these pieces um of course there's probably going to be a deal involved 
Like, okay, if I give you information, you got to do something for me. Um. Anyway, and that's where we are at. As far as Sedum, all I remember is that he killed a fuck ton of satyrs and um, <laughs> slept like a baby that night. That's all I remember. <laughs> Oh, and he, um, he asked... Oh, no, he's on his way back to us. He's on his way back to us. Yeah, because, um, he asked because Mephistopheles... Because he's still trying to figure out where the where the fuck we went. Yeah, he, he asked Mephistopheles if he could go by there, and I think he's on his way to Mephistopheles anyway right now. So, uh, technically he hasn't left yet. But... I'm just saying, also, like... Also, I don't think you guys are fully... Okay. You don't say anything, Brandon. You guys don't are missing a, a very big detail here, but I'll just keep my mouth well, shut. Well, aside from Can the I roll region, a history no, trick to remember what you're on. talking about? You literally said last time, he could change the past! Mm-hmm. Yeah, like... Hold on, okay. I'm looking through my damn D&D book because I don't... <laughs> but only with our powers combined. No? It's probably not what it is. Captain Planet, he's... What are, what are we missing? I'm gonna have to go back and fucking listen to the damn recording because there's clearly a detail we're missing. Otherwise, Brandon wouldn't have said anything. Hmm. If you want, you can make me a history check to see okay. if history or just flat intelligence to see if you remember something important related to what you're talking about. Not for ah. 20, yeah. I remember everything, Brandon! Well, okay. No one God was You don't Brandon. know the full details because you did lose your memory, but you do know that those who are in the Feywild experience time differently. You know that when you guys exited the Feywild, the... To you, it was like four about, days, and then the other was nine. Yes, it appears nine days has passed, so was you don't, you didn't experience it. You also were told by the one person who got their memory back that medic bamfed out a day prior. Okay. So, from his point of view. He left while you guys were in the Feywild on day three. Yeah. Ergo, when he arrives in the real world or outside of the Feywild, he would have arrived much sooner than you guys did. Oh. So know that, Brandon. <laughs> I mean, make... I guess if you really put it in, like, into perspective... Just be glad you rolled a natural 20. That's all I'm saying. I'm very glad I rolled a natural 20. Guys, uh, is there but anything he... we could use with the Sapphire of Observation? Because, I mean, realistically, we don't want to necessarily have to be... make Ow. deals with Mephistopheles if we don't have to. But I'm trying to think if, like, we could use this item to reach out to, like, a god or something that would be able to help tell us. Or something well, along those lines. Wait. But I don't know exactly what it can do. You do okay. I'm the Anna one and Mephistopheles that, you know? are friends, apparently. I'm the one well, attuned to that. I mean, they are, <laughs> but but it's, he always wants something in return, and like he yeah. typically doesn't offer knowledge freely, so I, I thought maybe we had met somebody well, doesn't, in the past. Well, didn't Toma know, give you books that were incredibly rare to give to him to resurrect or try to find a way to bring Swift Tail back. Mm -hmm. Wait, what I is mean, this? Uh, shit, I could... Anna could make a deal. She's ready to do anything at this point to stop the fucking region. I... 
I guess that's true. It's yeah, probably a smaller price to pay, but still. Like, I, I just, I, I don't know. I just, she's she's ready and willing to go to Mephistopheles and be like, "Look, if you give us this, I will do one thing for you. Whatever plane we're on, I will try and do one thing for you." Like she's ready. She's ready to do it, and she's like, "Yeah." All right. <laughs> I mean, if you're down to clown, that's that's your call. I, I've already made a, a, a pact with him, so I don't really want to double down on that. Yeah, no, I I remember, I remember, and I think in his mind, he and V already made a made a pact. Mm. But no, the Fenwick brings up a very valid point. Um. He would have been outside of the Feywild well before we would have seen him, that is. Yep. yep. So that's something to consider. <laughs> um, I wonder if he's just going back to Mephistopheles at this point. <laughs> because of the bond between him, to, between him and Cope. So, the bond, you met it. Yeah. Hmm. You wake up. Mm -hmm. All right. It is now from you. It has been roughly, I would say, a little over a day since you arrived. It's about 10 a.m. What do you do? The part to Mephisto. We already got the conversation of him, like me asking him questions with my fifth level of spells. So I want to go to him. Okay. Roll me that int check. Uh, Wait, did he do oh no, you did. You got a fourteen. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. He did. He got a fourteen. Scroll up right here. Yeah. This is the last thing. Okay, so you successfully teleport. <laughs> oh my god, god, damn it! Once again, back to uh, the um, to Kenya. Nice. Um, are you wearing anything right now? I literally told fucking Mephisto to build something so I don't forget my ass. I really hope you were asking something. questions. You were not giving oh commands. Um, I'm wearing my robes and the mm -hmm. trench coat that uh, is made of the Hydra hide. Okay, so but you you do have your thermal clothes on. Yeah. Okay. So you get there, uh, the biting cold still bites you, but you're, you're able to function as you're outside the gates. Yeah. You see a note outside. Mm, I pay attention to the note. Okay, it's written in Draconic, mm -hmm. and it says, Warning, to those who this may include, you have been given... No, I'm mm -hmm. not going to do that. I was going to say he gives you a uh, fucking, um, oh my god, I'm blanking on the term. It's a restraining order, but he wouldn't do that. So the doors are going to open as you enter, and this time when you enter, you don't see the standard hall with the, um, the various statues and Iron Men. Instead, you do just see him in the lounge. You get the impression by somehow he's manipulated the door to take you directly to the lounge. Though you do see he seems a bit annoyed. I'm gonna this like Mephistopheles. Or, or not, not actually. Make me make me an inside check. Five. You can't tell. He seems to be focusing on something. Like, he seems very distracted, but as to what his sense of mode is, you're not sure. I, like, casually walk forward, and then I, like, look back, like, behind me, and then I look at him, and back behind me, like, look as at him. As you look like, behind you, the, there's no more doors. You see the uh, long hallway leaning out. Um, you do not see, like, it, it just goes and stretches around the corner. Um, as you look back at him, he just points to a chair. I open my arms, like, saying, like, what's up, bro? And, like, I move, like, to the chair, and I, like, just look at him. I mean, I can take it from you if you like. Don't worry. How about we make a deal? You give that to me, and I'll make sure it's not a problem. 
I give you what? He then looks at you with like a like, and he like puts a finger in front of his mouth to be like shush you. Roll me another insight check. Come on, Zeno. I believe in you. Uh, Five. <laughs> Nice. Dude, I'm just like confused. Like, I'm not saying anything, but I'm confused as fuck. I'm like, mm -hmm. did I? Yeah, you're not. You're not sure. Like, yeah, like you don't know what fuck? what he wants from you. Like, what is he talking about? I'm like, come on. No, I'm just, like he put it in my, a finger in my mouth. I'm like, okay, what what's up? Did, did I fuck them somewhere? <laughs> Well, if you change your mind, I mean, I'm always interested. You never know. We can always make a deal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What we're, are we exchanging? Are you gonna... As you talk, he grabs your muzzle and just holds you, your mouth shut. He goes, well, I mean, she knows how much we enjoy making deals. The question is, how much do you want the answers to your problems? Oh, he's talking with someone. Um, he then he... Um, sighs and starts laughing to himself, and he goes, he looks at you and he goes, <sighs> Where do I begin? So he, he like puts his hands together as though he's thinking to himself and he goes we need we need to set some ground rules oh yeah definitely you, you see well like okay 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 let, let me let me first explain two things friendship and i like put like my tiny couple hand in my chest and i'm like it's when we and like i, I move it like from my chest to his like my chest to his like we are helping each other and going to a greater goal Partnership is when we exchange goods. We have a friendship. If I can trust you with some randos, I will not trust you with my people. No! But don't worry, I killed them all. Ungrateful fucks. You want the soul? They're there. Like, I can bring them for you. No big He's gonna look at you and go. There seems to be some confusion as to the agreement that we made. I would agree to assist you in your quest, but it is up to you how to use the knowledge you've gained to save your people. I am not here to be a sanctuary for you or your kin. No, 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 Mephisto, 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 brother, hermano. My people, I can save them. I wanted your heart to be in your heart. I didn't want it any favor. I want it to be just in a little bit, maybe there, so what you can be also in a little story bit. story going on? Over <laughs> here, you know? His, 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 his eyes are going to narrow. He's going to go, you try my patience. Let me make our arrangement clear. You assist me in getting what I desire, by eliminating my enemies, I assist you by providing you tools, information you need to allow yourself to further your goals. I am not here to be used as the solution to your problems. If you bring more uninvited guests to my domain again, I cannot guarantee their safety but I can guarantee their permanent stay and understand that I will not tolerate any more unannounced visitations. So whatever comes here, you're going to kill it, right? As you say that, his eyes narrow, and he's going to say, nor will I allow you to... He goes... I mean, it's clear now that we have a partnership relationship, not really a friendship, but I just wanted he's to... Gonna, he's going to be like, 
I can already see what you're planning to do. You're going to bring <laughs> your enemies to me. So that way I kill your enemies. Yeah. <laughs> and then start like laughing and saying like yes with my hand like <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. If you don't want that, like I will not. But I was gonna bring you like a strong opponent so you can torture them and like get their souls. He's you know? gonna grab your muzzle again. Oh. Listen. Let's make a new arrangement. And he pulls up a parchment with a pen. Mm. Consider the previous one void due to my my own oversight in realizing your unique way of understanding the situation. He just called you dumb, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna like blam and like my tongue is gonna be the little. I will provide you some information, but at a cost. And he pulls out a small necklace. Now you've seen something similar around Sakes, but it looks different. This one appears to have uh, a canister below it. This is your payment. Every time you kill something, it will collect for me. You will have no choice in the matter. Every time you fill this canister, I will answer one of your little questions. But, and I want to make this very clear, and he looks you dead in the eyes, if you come to my domain again, unannounced, without good reason, I will personally remove that item from you and send you to a place which not even Tiamat herself has escaped. Are we clear? Yes, and thank you for telling me that Tiamat has escaped some stuff. Now I know that like Tiamat... Was unable to escape. Could and have he, helped he clicks his finger out. and he shows Tiamat's current location. So Tiamat, the actual god, appears before you you see she is chained up against a wall all five of her heads bound and her tail spread out as it zooms out you recognize based on what he said before that this is the first layer of hell hmm. or is it the if abyss that can just like it may, like it may actually be hell. it may actually be the abyss like Hold that thought. I, I do actually have to verify because it may actually be the first layer of the abyss. I take uh, all the time. I take all the time that I can to like memorize, like firmly in my mind, how the place looks. Like what just where Tiamat is. <laughs> like try to like scorch it in my brain. Fair. You know, I was right. Avernus. Yeah, she's she's in the she's in the nine hells. I was like doubting myself, but yes, yes, she's she's still there. Yeah. But yeah, I try to memorize mm -hmm. that place as much as I can. And okay. I try to like look around like and be like, ooh, that's a nice place though. Okay, you can make either a religion check or a history check. Mm. Oh. Twenty nine Jesus H Christ. <laughs> uh is that a Nat twenty? No, very nearly. Um, yeah, so this is Avernus. She seems to be located in Avernus. One thing you do notice is that the lair looks like it was originally made for her. You see various indicated, uh, indicators that it was her own domain, but it has since been like captured, taken, and used against her. She is very clearly bound by something. Hmm. Some sort of seal, but you you can tell that she, the actual goddess, is in Avernus, not the avatar that appeared over, um, like the the one you saw over, um, 
Waterdeep was was her avatar. This the actual goddess is in Avernus. Okay, what are we doing? Sorry, I was just making sure all my wet my equipment works before we get into battle, potentially. Oh, I was like, what? what nope, sorry. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, ask uh, Mephisto, like, really quick. By the way, if I kill an undead, does it give me a soul? He's going to scratch his head and goes, Interesting question. That would deter depend on the undead, I suppose. Most undead are actually already called for. Good question. You certainly guess, yes, are educated. But... Also, I have to say... I did find a, a bit of satisfaction at the way you disposed of those creatures, though I still fail to realize what, uh, to imagine what you actually expected me to do with them. Uh, well, I, in the beginning, I thought that they were like good people looking for a better life, but we're just piece of shit trying to egocentrism live a life, but. Eh, honestly, if I could have the time, I would like peel them, impale them, and burn them. But didn't need but to, like this page. Like, with all, with all due respect, <laughs> even assuming they weren't who they were, being that they were fae, what pray tell were you expecting to happen to them by sending them to here? Oh, did you expect them to live among the frosted wastes? Oh, no, 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 no. I just want them, go, you go. to hold them here while we clear the land and we give them a beautiful land where they can happily live for the rest of their lives. But they were ungrateful. I got what they wanted, so... Hey, we live there in peace now. Hmm. Now, why have you come to me? Though I can imagine I already know, You're but hot. for the sake of brevity, why have you come here? Well, this changes everything, and I like grab the necklace and I attach it to my belt. Like, uh, okay, so it like the moment you go to butt. attach it, uh, roll me a constitution saving throw. What's he attaching? Uh, so it, it's similar to your, your necklace, oh, the thing, except he instead of being bound to him, or to, it's bound to Mephistopheles. So where yours, you get to harness the soul power and use it as, as a will as well as a currency. To him, he's just a conduit that basically acts as a siphon. Um, okay, that does succeed. As it attaches, you feel like it was going to grab onto you in a way you didn't expect, but you were able to resist it. You see a small seal appear on your skin behind it. And it appears to have affixed itself to your belt. Nice. You can add one soul siphon to your inventory. Huh. And I'm gonna tell him, yo, I tried to like bite my butt. Wait, soul right, siphon. So... Goodbye. Who'd we lose? Oopsie. Mm -hmm. Oopsie said I'll be right back. Oh. Wow. Um, He's ramen. sucking your soul out, bro. But I'll bet you that would taste really good. Look at that, oh, does. I've seen that, yeah. So, uh, Undead will get, get us souls, right? Like, one soul. Undead. Not us. Me. Oh, huh, yeah. But, once you fill it, I will answer one of your questions. You are the kind of person that feels like... That seems like they would rather gain information than some random power. So... That is the deal. You harvest for me, I answer for you. Mm. But understand, each time you harvest, the quantity goes up. The cost gets higher. All right, fair enough. Choose your questions serve, uh... wisely. I'm going to save it for when I serve a dragon. I'm going to give them questions so they can ask. And um, uh, is my am amulet charged or not? Uh, yes. It no. You just used it to get to here. 
All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, which like, brings up a whole bunch of questions. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, lean in the table and say like, well, what now? Um, well, I'm gonna give you options. You can do as you want. Like, we can get some tea and breakfast and some delicious foodies and have a great conversation, or uh, you can send me on my way back to my team and uh, I can go fuck myself. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I heard Desi laughing in the background. He's going to go. He's going to smirk and he goes, I like you, Cobalt. Not many people have the nerve to talk to me the way you do. But there's a certain charm <laughs> to both your refusal to show proper respect while equally an understanding of the situation. Though you hide your wisdom well. Look, but we as to fight. what we'll do now, at the moment, something has drawn my eye. So instead, I would very much like you to wait or leave. It seems your friends have acquired the very thing that they were sent to acquire acquire much sooner than I expected them to acquire it. Mm. Mm, well, I can wait here. That's not a problem. And uh, I'm gonna, like, get close to him and, like, tell him, you know, you seem a little bit egocentrical, but... And I'm gonna, like, hug him and I'm gonna tell him, I know that, like, inside you, you have a good heart and you, like, want someone to love you. Oh, and I'm gonna, Jesus like, give him a hug. This man's literally hugging fucking Satan right now. It's not even Satan. He's Satan's, not Satan. <laughs> it's it's yeah. Satan would be more like um, a Zeriel. He's more like fucking well, Mephistos. What what is the actual uh, biblical Meph Mephistos? It's literally like the same name. Fufi la la la. Oh shit! Did you hear that? Yeah. I sure done did. Was that another breaker? I, that was either. I think that was just something from upstairs. Some random rocks. Still going. Let's see. So Did he's going to say. No. Do you want... No, there's hardly any of mine. I don't want to tease Do you. Do you know where your friends are planning to go by any chance? Oh. They appear to be heading towards their next target. Kill him, shit, to dog. Be the lycanthrops. Don't be, a, don't be a snitch. I'm gonna tell them, like, uh... Well, after them, they we were going to mama, like, uh... Dragonborn. No, yeah, we should have gone to Mama. They have, they should like, uh, uh, be going to Mama Dragonborn. Do you know the Dragonborn that is in our party? They got like a grandmother, mother, and a fuck. I don't know what the fuck it is, but uh, she's she's kind of cool. Give me chocolate, you know. Like, and uh, yeah, I think they're gonna go there. You do realize chocolate are bad is cho bad for your kind, right? Yeah. That's how I mainly died a long time ago, but it's chocolate, you know? Quite. He's developing rare forms of cancer as he eats chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> He's Quite. going to think and he says, I think your friends are going to need information. And they're likely going to need you. They seem to use you as some sort of carrier to get them from A to B. So instead... So instead... He thinks... How would he play this? As he's thinking, I'm gonna like make faces be like, So instead... 
Are, are you mimicking him? Like, mockingly? No. <laughs> I'm just like being it. like, so instead. He's gonna sigh and then say... What's he gonna say? So the thing is, like, you're already right here. God damn it, where is that stupid dog? I want cat. I want your pet kitty when we play D&D. &D. Okay. Aww. He is going to turn around and walk to his library and pull out a single book. He's then going to give it to you and seal it. And he says, don't open it until the time is right. You bet. Should you need information, ask my servant, but do not consult this book. All right. I want to emphasize this. This book does not contain the answers you seek, but it will right. contain the answers that one of them do not yet know to ask. Answers they won't know to ask for some time. But in the months to come, when they are ready, that should contain the answer. At a cost. Your mama's throat, dog. <laughs> wow. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, like, uh, just look at him and say, can you give me one question, like, as, like, a freebie? One advanced question. It's nothing that big. It's not too much information. It's just... His question. eyes are gonna narrow. Depends on the question. What is it you desire? I want to know when you became like this. I mean, eternity is so like... So his eyes open. Time. You're asking when I became... the In what regards? When I became the leader of Vernus? No, I got centric on information seeking and not like, hmm. you know, enjoying... He's gonna laugh. You have you have and he's... Thousands of years later, here I am. Don't you want any more, like, hugs and the warm, like, peace? I mean, you live in a castle that is impenetrable, and, like, I mean, I personally think that you will live every single night thinking that some devil or some Tiamat follower or someone, like, of your enemies will come and kill you. I mean, that doesn't sound like a good sleep to me. Like, and being egocentric like that, I think you don't have, like, much of a good sleep. So, that's my main question. He goes, all I seek is knowledge. And power! So I can exterminate knowledge everything. Knowledge is power, little one. <laughs> yeah. Now sleep. Okay, Make me a Lama. constitution saving throw. No, did I fucking go, like, okay. Wow. Okay, so you... Okay, sure, yeah. yeah so okay. you just pass out. Uh, okay. Nightmare. So, fast forward. What are the rest of you doing? Can we not read in this house still? We're, we're, uh, we're still in the... The rest of you are, house. I think, still yeah. at the... Yeah. We're still You're downstairs, like the, yeah. yeah. Like the foot of the mountain. In the foot of the mountain. Yeah. Who's, hold on. Who is wearing the... Um, who's yeah, wearing you're, you're, the... In, you're in the, 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 the manor at the foot of the, the mountain. Chilling, bro. Who's wearing yeah. the Griffin's Fury right now? Griffin's Fury? The, the, the magical that, set of plate mail. That is... Me? Anna. Okay, that's what I thought. And it's heavy armor, right? Correct. Okay. Why... Well, because I can't use a bunch of my spells now, I'm considering like 
using the Mace of Terror as like a melee character. <laughs> just like I don't know. Oh, we'll see what happens. Poor, but, poor Barely. Yeah. I mean, not that I couldn't still use my my siege crossbow, but I just feel like it'd be interesting to try to get it in melee range now that I can't speak. But anyway, that's all. That is all. Yeah. Um, well, I'm trying to go to Mephistopheles to ask him about the witch it. I'm not saying any of this in character yet. I just well, right now I'll you guys you are know. you guys are were inside of the hut, the the mansion. Okay. And we um, don't know anyone else with the kind of level of knowledge that Mephistopheles has. He correct? did mention several places you could get said knowledge. It is up to you as to where you choose to acquire it. Oh fuck! I didn't write down those places, Brent. Can I roll a history check to remember. That was just the first one y'all thought of. Oh, because I mean, she yeah, said, we might want to explore the other avenues. She basically said, anywhere where there is very large sources of ancient knowledge. Your guys' first thought was Mephistopheles for obvious reason. Does yeah. Argentus have? Uh, like a large library. Or like no. a history check. I mean, I barely own. We are knows. not walking on Argentus with a big fucking target on our backs. Oh, that's literally. Uh, ten. kind in your hands. Uh, let's yeah. See, ten. I mean, Argentus is big. It's got a lot of stuff. It's probably got a library. I'm just gonna waltz in and like become. I'm gonna just make. I'm the captain now with oh the fucking God. the dragon kind. <laughs> I really oh, yeah, with no. all of that control you have. Uh-huh, yep. Oh, yeah, totally all that. I have, I have truly mastered this, this artifact that I now currently have. Yep. Yeah, you totally have there, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. just, just making sure. Okay, well, then fine. Argentis is not a good idea, but what were the other options? No. See, we haven't... I mean, I suppose we could go back to the Feywild, but I really don't want to do that. To what end? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah, if there's no reason to go back, then yeah, for sure not. I just don't like having to deal with Mephistopheles because, like, I, like I've said, you just see, there's always a price to pay as opposed to somebody else Look, that may be a little Anna's more benevolent. willing to pay that price. If anything, Anna's no, no, ready and I get to do that. all the talking. But, it, but who knows if it's, like, something he requires from more of us, like, it's opposed to just, like, a single we requirement. We still haven't gotten the... Oh, wait, we didn't... Did we... Get the pages from that book that he wanted from the dwarves? Nope. Not yet, I don't think. Okay, we might want to do that before we go back there. You guys have never even gone to the dwarven capital. Well, now they're all dead, right? <laughs> they appear to be. It, might, it would probably be pretty easy to go get it right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All of our opposition is like, literally we dead. We want to go so. get that book before our fucking. We're just gonna wall was... straight through the capital. Oh, and they might have like armor and shit. Oh my god, we should absolutely go to the fucking Dwarven capital. Yes. Thank you. No. Just we all Absolute. have to make a pact to never tell anyone where we got all, all of our incredible Dwarven uh, sure, equipment. Like, just, just fucking undead shit everywhere. There might be, but hey, we have. It's not I mean, like we haven't fought a dick before. Like, no, but God. didn't it? Does it? Didn't it, didn't the undead only stay undead if there was a a a, a blood rain? Like I, I doubt they're gonna keep that sustained. They probably just wanted to kill well, all. Well, the blood rain was in Thanatos, so. I, Brandon, didn't didn't you say at one point that the blood rain was used by? Was used on the. Dwarves. Undead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So conceivably, I mean, could we correlate that they're the, they're one and the same? That's up to you to decide. Could I roll? I don't know, insight or something. It is a level ten spell. It is oh. up to you to try to determine whatever you think it works. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Um. A biscuit. I'm not sure what to eat. I don't know where the brought. Oh, here they are. I'll bring one for me as well. Uh, 
Oh. All right. Yeah, do you guys want to go to the... Yeah, I will say, just, just so you guys know, there are many, many, many places where you could theoretically get that information, not just Mevis. You know what? The Dwarven also, conceivably, Capital the dwarves might probably have a have... fucking library. Yes, the Dwarven Capital might actually have a book on what we're looking for in the library. Yeah, I mean, they're an old, old and established yeah, race, so... We could go there, and, and we could try going there, getting the book that Mephistopheles is looking for, and um, it's probably for in armor. a library, coincidentally. Yeah. yeah. Is that you guys cool with that, or what do you guys want to do? I think we should go to the Dwarven Capital. No, yeah, but I mean the the other the rest of the team is being is being quiet. I think anybody would like, uh, except for Saints. Of undead, I would vote against that. Against going to, well, I mean, but there's no, like I said, there's no guarantee that there is there a way for. Oh, here we go. Could we, Brandon? Is there a way to? Uh, yeah, can we use the? That? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, could we? Scry? Yes, we could use the scrying aspect of the orb of scrying. Yeah. Can we do that and just check out, like, see, like, look, or well, arcane eye or whatever it is? You just, like, look at the. It'd be scrying. Like, oh. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. Can we do just that? Just your target. Um, can it just be a location? Mm hmm. That would be a target. Does it, do we have to know the, uh, could it, can it be an object even if we don't know the, uh, the location of the item? That is locate object, and it requires having seen the object. Huh. And we have not seen the object, not even in our mind's eye. Mind's eye doesn't count. Okay, I didn't. Um. Then yeah, can we just can we just like look over the dwarven capital and see if there's like movement? Wow. That's up to the holder of that item. That is. Or yeah, I mean. That is. I mean, such amazing be... info. It's just a picture. Did not transfer the fucking data. I mean, I don't see the data. I just see the picture. Where is it? Top left. There's a second oh, page. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, something's killing me. Okay. Uh, do I have to roll for a scrying? What am I doing? Nope, it just uses six charges. Okay. Well, it should be re- this point, Honestly, at this now. point, yeah, by this point you're at full charges. Yeah, yeah. it's... Been a long so time. what are you focusing on? Dwarven capital. Okay. Is that just what you're picturing the dwarven capital? Do you have a name? Do you have an image? My character would obviously know what the fucking name is. Okay, that's fair. So roll me. I'm gonna say either roll me a history check or a concentration check at advantage. Because it'd be a constitution save. Constitution constitution check. So either history or constitution, your choice. At, either way, at advantage because again you are educated. Seventeen. So you picture from what you imagine of the dwarven capital. Suddenly, your vision goes black. You collapse in front of the orb, and it takes you. You find yourself flying through the sky until it pops out way above the ground you see the blood red soaked ground beneath you slowly being covered up by snow you see large creatures slowly walking along the landscape dotted with much smaller creatures as it zooms in slowly getting closer and closer to the capital you see what appears to be about 10 to 12 
undead dragon skeletons just walking about the landscape casually, along with about 4,000 undead dwarves slowly portraying the landscape. The capital appears to have been completely annihilated. Most of the surface of the mountain has been destroyed and permanently scarred. You see the entrance has collapsed and is patrolled. As it zooms inside, you see multiple cat, uh, uh, catways and walks. So many tunnels have collapsed, but every single inhabitant appears to be an undead skeletal dwarf. You would estimate the total population of the capital to be approximately 12 undead dragons and around 4,300 undead dwarves. We got this, guys. We're what, level 11? You're level 9. Yep, we got this. Let's go. Yeah, no. Hard pass. <laughs> Hard pass. That's fair enough. Yeah, then I guess we should probably shouldn't. At least, not, at least not right now, unless we had a way to dispel all that magic. Uh, you but would I, notice, by the way, there was no rain. While the ground was soaked in blood, it did not appear to be raining, and it instead appeared to be snowing, with the snow slowly seeping into the blood pools and or covering up the parts that had already dried. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't sound bueno, so... Probably not there. Uh, what were the other options? I don't know. That's up to you to figure out. Well, I thought somebody was supplying us with this information. What she said was anywhere that... Ha what the council had told oh, you is oh, anywhere oh, okay. that has large amounts of ancient knowledge. Hmm... Are they well? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess if we have to go to Mephistopheles, I can't think of anywhere on the top, off the top of my head, like where arcane knowledge is. I'm sure that there are plenty of places. There, there There's are probably a wizard's places. college or something like that. Yeah, there, again, I don't, without giving it away, I can tell you that there are off the top of my head at least six or seven other places that would have the knowledge of at least one of the pieces. For sure, but I just don't have that knowledge. go back to the Feywild, which we probably will. Um, I, I, you keep saying the Feywild. What exactly are you hoping to find in the Feywild? I'm just saying, there's a. Never mind, Brandon. Forget it. <laughs> oh. no, I'm curious. Maybe there is. I, I hadn't. That wasn't on my list of like six places. But I mean, if you could. But you, you said you arcane. A, if you can give me a fucking logical explanation, I can. You said arcane magic, and for some reason, knowledge. I thought knowledge. arcane knowledge or no, knowledge. And I was like, okay, arcane equals fey equals... For some reason, I got that in my head. And I was like, dude, if we have to go back to the fey wild for one of the pieces of the staff... Now, that less, might be the case. That's what I was trying to say, like, is we might have to go back to... You know that the, the, the pieces are located in multiple different dimensions, multiple different mm -hmm. realms. Yeah. But the knowledge as to where you might find one of the pieces is located in like specific and areas it arcaniums you know yeah. labyrinthiums places like that places where there's going to be large amounts of knowledge but i don't want you guys to feel like you have to go to mephistopheles there are other options it's up to you to, to tell to, toma to might have something in her in her library Wasn't who kind of toma it's Toma. Swifttail's mom. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Swifttail's wife. Swifttail's mom. I mean, that's Swift not technically the wrong right direction. <laughs> like, technically, uh, technically, the little one is also named Swifttail, so. Yeah. Isn't I mean, yeah, we can His, his name is Pyrite, right? Pyrite, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> 
All right, so what are we doing, you guys? We've been sitting here pondering upon idea after idea, and I, I mean, just... Sakes knows what she wants to do, but y'all. I know what I want to do. <laughs> I want to go to Mephistopheles. Well, let's go. What is Oop? I can't think of any real deal. I feel I like V oh, is against that. Definitely. V yeah, does oopsies. not want to go to Mephistopheles. I know. I think you'd rather go to the fucking capital. <laughs> Oh, the dwarves! I the dwarf capital. capital! You tell me what you want to do and I will tell you what happens. Again, I want to emphasize this like a third time. Like, there are many different ways you can get this information, not just Mephistopheles. Who's, who's in this building except That, that was just the first thing you'd... It, uh, so right now, because it's been a couple of minutes, you know the rest of the council is there. Well, at least of the room, surviving members of the council, um, but they're not in the room at the moment. The room, right at the moment, you just see some servants. They appear to be preparing dinner. Well, I would say you guys need to go ask around if you want to choose something other than Mephistopheles. I point at my mouth or my throat and do like a little X on it. <laughs> You can write, Barrelion. That's true, but it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Do you want me to go with you? Yes. I write. <laughs> okay, I'll go with Bare you. Come on. Yeah. Do me a favor and roll me either an arc yeah, roll me an arcana check with disadvantage. DC fifty. Yeah. Yay. Four, baby. Alright, nothing changes. Continue. Cool. Yep. Oh wait, grab the orb. Oh yeah, I have it on my person. I have a, I've made I have a fashion. No, the last sling. time we were um I think last week they placed it on like the table mm -hmm. with the It is currently at the center of the table. Oh my bad. Then yeah, I'll clamber over and grab it and place it in the sling I fashion. Okay, you do so. Uh, all and right. then I'll walk out and follow Anna. Let's see all who right. See. And it wait. Uh, and the 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 people that are part of the council are they dragons or not? Some of them are. Some of them are not. Again, okay. you saw that there were five dragons, if memory serves. One kobold, one human, one gnome. Okay. Yeah, we should probably try. The to others find apparently not did a, a not dragon. survive. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, so I I start trying to look around the mansion. Or yeah, look around the mansion on the inside to see if we can find mm. anyone. Okay. So the the mansion's pretty expansive. And because it's a magical mansion that's based on the caster, I'm going to say you need to roll me an investigation check to try to make your way around without getting lost. Okay. 15, yeah. So you retrace your steps and you're able to make it into the main room. There you see a couple more servants and you see up, up to the top left, the staircase goes up. You also see the exit as well as uh, door to your right. Where do you go? Um, so to clarify, you are now in the ballroom. To your okay. left is the door that you came through. That was the long room where you were had that meeting. To your right appears to be another door. Behind you is the main entrance. In front of you is a large master staircase that winds straight up and then back in both left and right to an upstairs floor. Alright. I want to go upstairs. Okay, left or right? Left. So as you go up left, you see what appears to be two rooms followed by another long hallway. Jeez Louise. Okay. Which, um, do the rooms appear to be like bedrooms or like what? You don't know. They just appear to be doors. To be accurate, you see doors. 
can I um, like, as again to to try to draw this? If it, is, would it be easier if I try to draw it? Probably not. <laughs> okay, um, I mean, I get you it. Could certainly try. Um, I, I get it too. The left hand of the stairs. The to your left, you see two doors. Okay. On, they appear to be. You are on like a overhanging patio, like um balcony. You see two doors to your left. Further down, you see what appears to be a hallway. You also see that the pa the balcony you're on goes all the way forward to the back wall, stretches over the staircase, and wraps back around, connecting to the right side of the staircase. It also wraps forward and and appears to go over the entrance. Okay. Um, In the center I... of the room, you see a large chandelier. Okay, perfect. Um, well, I try to open the first door. Okay, as you open the door, it opens. Inside, you see what appears to be a large sitting area. It appears to hold, uh, to hold rather large chairs. Uh, it was very clearly designed by something that has you know, is quite large. You notice that both doors appear to go to the same room. It appears to just be some sort of lounge. You see large glass, uh, a table in the center of all the cushions with a large glass device. Roll me either a history check or an arcana check to identify it. Okay, I'm going to do history. 17. <laughs> Um, yes. this, you would, okay, really this appears to be a larger version of like a hookah device. It is. This is very clearly a relaxation area where one would lay down and use the hook, hookah while relaxing. Okay. Can I take a big draw of it, whatever is in the hookah? So as you go to it, first off, the hookah in this room is about three and a half feet tall. But it does not appear to be currently, like, filled. Loaded? With yeah. Loaded. Okay. okay, fair enough. You do see some residue on the tip, though. But, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Never mind. Yeah. It's like, some residue on the tip? Yeah. <laughs> That's not um, what I meant. Jesus yeah. Christ. They're not, like, fucking... They're, like, it's fingering damn. themselves with the hooker. They're with the hooker. Yeah, the, hooker? They've been fingering themselves with the hooker. Yep, exactly. But but <laughs> fucking so. brings a new okay, meaning to Okay, so I leave I leave uh -huh. that room. Okay. And I go to the next room. Now again, that room had both both doors appeared to lead into that room. Oh, okay, never mind. Um I I guess I try going down the hallway. Like I'm looking for either Toma or or mm -hmm. Karindi or somebody, you know. So again, so as you walk further down to your left, you now see a long hallway with several different room, er, doors. To your right, you see the balcony goes over the staircase and to the right side. What do you want to do? Man, this oh. is like one of those choose-your-own-adventure yeah. books. I'm having fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to kind of look through each and every door. To yeah, see I will do the one. same. <laughs> like I'll, barely I'll start totally on one side and door. then I start on the other. <laughs> So as you peek into the next door, oh god, 27. So the first two doors were locked, but as you got into the third door, it was unlocked. As you open it up, you see what appears to be a kobold, half naked, standing over a bunch of blueprints. It appears to be uh, trying to assemble some sort of machine <laughs> and attach it to itself. Since okay. we, it hasn't noticed you, you do see that on its back, now that it's fully, uh, more or less fully exposed, you see several, for lack of a better term, metal implants and brackets that appear to have been surgically implanted into this kobold's abdomen. Look, is an Iron Man <laughs> kobold, basically? Mm, not quite. It, to, a better example have you ever seen Rocket Raccoon? Yes. So he's got what appears to be 
like brackets and mounts that are surgically implanted into his body so that he wow. might connect to some of his own inventions. Devices, you have seen yeah. this kobold in some of his mechs before, and you're beginning to suspect this is one of the ways he controls them. Oh, we know this kobold? You've seen him multiple times. You've even fought him. Yeah, when do we fight him? At the, the arena. arena. In the arena? Yes, the yes. guy who had all the constructs, where you kept using fucking blonde. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. No, it was it was not the wild. It was um, fog cloud. Fog cloud. Yeah. You guys fucking blinded his constructs, and all of them required fucking targets you could see. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Now it's coming back to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you also talked to him literally yesterday in character. No, I know that, but well, I just yeah, actually part. in character was like fucking twenty minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. So for the twenty-seven, you see that he has not noticed you. Not with the twenty-seven. Um. Do you want me to go in there and be like, "Excuse me"? Yeah, I would. I would tap. I would tap Anna on the shoulder and be like, point to the door and like mime. Uh, I'd knock on the door. Okay. I knock on the door. Here. <laughs> what? I'm busy. We have You're a question for you. Up. Yeah, so does everyone. Moment. <laughs> when it opens up, you see the same kobold. He's he's dressed in his standard engineering coat you've seen him use before. His goggles appear to be lifted up over his head, though, and he goes, What? Um... So, about the staff... I'm not please? interested. You're not my type. And he closes the door. <laughs> I knock again. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, point, I point at myself, and I, I do, like, a quizzical look. The, raise his eyebrow? <laughs> yes. His eyes narrow, and he goes to close the door, and he goes, Wait! And he opens it. The staff. You mean the octagonal rod? What about yes. it? Yes. Um... Do you know where we could start potentially looking for a place, I don't know, of knowledge that we can so, start looking for it? asking me if I knew where you could like start looking for something to uh, – er, okay. I write a lead he's, he's in going to, letters. He's going to sigh and say, you're looking for a place to start. Yes. Goes, come in, come in. And Anna, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, Jesus Christ. Berlion, he does not let you in. Get what? <laughs> I'll let you try to figure out why. Oh, the, the, yeah, the dragon kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh. That tracks. Four. Oh, Anna, you take two steps in. You slip on a paper and go face first into the ground. Wow. This room is littered with documents, multiple scraps of paper, blueprints. It it is chaos incarnate. It's clear that everything has a purpose, but it is scatterbrained. It is everywhere. It's Noah. It's what? Oh god. It's Noah, like our old roommate. He had it, it, his room was in a disarray. You had to climb over shit. It was, ugh. It was horrible. But yeah, no, like, I, I get you it. You literally see some notes that have been, like, literally nailed into, like, chairs. Other things that have been scribbled directly on the walls. In fact, yeah. okay. make me an insight check. Insight. Okay. 13. There's this is so much done to this room that you get the impression that this is not something that could have feasibly been done in 20 minutes or even a day. Like this is something that has been done over several days, which confuses you because you saw her cast a spell today. If you yeah. want, you can roll me an arcana check to try to understand how or what is going on. Three. You don't get it. This kobold has slowed down time in order to make this happen. You have no idea. Um, he's going to look at me and go, watch your step. 
He then walks up to you and um, uh, starts poking on your helmet and says, Come here! You see him rummage through uh, a couple papers and he pulls out what appears to be a map. And he uh, slams it onto a mattress that has been overturned and le leaned against the, the back wall. And he, like, grabs, like, a tack and just, like, tacks it to the bottom of the mattress. He goes, okay, so first off, you're trying to find places where you might be able to get the information you seek. Correct? Yes. Repositories of knowledge, like we mentioned. Well, yes. I'm not going to claim to know them all, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> First and foremost, obviously you have the the arbitorium within the Argentist. You're gonna have the repository within the elves. Oh gosh, you, there, there would be the great library in the hall of the dwarves. Oh my God, the the massive the library within Cloud or um, Candlekeep still remains. Theoretically, if you could find any ruins within Waterdeep, that one would still be good. Um, let me think. That's the only ones I know of in this realm. In theory, if you could get yourself to the Feywild, anyone who has access to the the ice the uh, the ice temple would theoretically have access to it. Uh, anyone who has access to knowledge of Arcanium, so if you could get access. But at this point, we're trying to go into otherworldly stuff. Yeah, that's where I would start. If I were you. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And he holds out his hand. How much? How much do you think it was worth? I uh, give him hey, 50 gold. Place yes. your breast in his hand. <laughs> That's how much it's worth. <laughs> I gonna... give him 50 gold. <laughs> he takes the gold and he goes, thank you. <laughs> now, Can you tell up. me and what he, he would have done if she put her boob in his hand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so like, like a... Like a out of curiosity <laughs> so now first off she's in her armor but let's just say that she wasn't for the sake of this yeah, what if right scenario. like a fucking <laughs> marvel what if yeah so in this what if you randomly like undo your blouse and just drop your like you lean down and drop your tit in his fucking claw he goes <laughs> okay <laughs> but like I mean, if you want to fuck, that's cool, but I still want payment. I'm back double now. If you want some oh, of this, you're going to have to pay more. I open the door because I've been listening, and I, I just wink at him, and I've been like, I point at myself and, you know, offer. Oh, in this what if? Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. well, no, I guess technically that, no, that wasn't. That was definitely not canon. Myself. For one thing, God he's in full armor. Yeah, was, I, forgot. <laughs> I was so engrossed in the story, I just, yeah. Okay, yeah. now that we got the inform, what did he want me to clean up, by the way? So make me a perception check. Okay. Perception. Nineteen. You notice that the papers you slipped on have been crumpled up, and a couple have been torn, and they are now like underneath your metal boots. Oh, I am so sorry, and I I take off my the the paper from my metal. Boots. <laughs> and I give him to him. <laughs> you do what? I said I take off the paper from my metal boots. Okay. And I give it. I try to hand it to him. Like I am so sorry. Like my bad. You know I didn't. You'll, you'll hear him like slowly uncrackle it. And, like he'll try to like. You know how you take like a piece of paper and you like put it on something soft and like slide it left and right to get it like even again. Yeah. And you're like uh huh. Any other questions, lady? No, thank you for your time. And I, like, quickly walk out of the room. As you go, oi, before you go. A yeah. bit of advice. Be careful who, when you use that rod. Rumor has it. Granted, it's obviously just rumor and legend, but objects of that caliber tend to be. But rumor has it that that thing has the ability to change a lot of things. Be careful what you use it for. You may end up regretting your decisions. Got it. Thank you. Oh, and leave me out of whatever qu things you require of the staff. I don't want any part of that thing. Understood. Thank you. And you hear him grumbling. I don't want to be part of any goddamn 
fucking monkey's paw. <laughs> Uh, as you close the door, Berlion, make me perception check. Uh, okie dokie. Perception, baby. 15. You five. see a uh, spectral hand begin to tap you on the shoulder. Uh, okay. I, I look at the hand and, yeah. I, so it goes, you know. is there something I can acquire of you, sir? Would you like me to show you to your room? You see um, what appears to be a spectral dragonborn. Three of them. Um, I slowly shake my head up and down, yes, even though I don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Come this way. Okay. And they guide you uh, back to the main hall. Okay. If you follow them, they would have you go over the entrance to the opposite side, and they would take you to the rooms down the hall, where they would escort you to your room. It looks similar to the one that you were just in, except not torn to shit. <laughs> nice. Um, I would, uh, I would follow them, and I would go to the room. Uh, but I would thoroughly inspect it for, like, traps and stuff, and I would make sure not to close the door without, like, look, seeing if it's, like, magical in there. Okay, so you're looking for traps inside your room? Yeah. Okay, make me an investigation check. Nine, baby! So you look around, checking under the bed, like, moving things around, even looking behind the paintings. You don't see any traps. Can I cast Detect Magic real quick? Yes, you can. So as you begin channeling Detect Magic, the first thing you sense is an almost blinding amount of con a conjuration. Um, you sense that everything around you is conjured, probably because it's a big-ass spell. The whole uh... is conjured. If I peek out the door, is the entire area like that, or just the, my... Everything... Okay, so... How do I explain this? The entire mansion is summoned, as it's part of the spell. Oh, okay. So, if you're sensing conjuration magic Literally surrounding you. Yeah. However, <laughs> I would say 30-foot radius, you peek your head outside the door, you do sense... That below you, there appears to be a source of illusion magic, as well as a source of evocation magic, but you don't know what they are. But it appears to be below you. Can I investigate those? I mean, you are upstairs. You would have to work your way there. That's fine. So as you leave your room, you see more of the spectral dragons... Um, they appear to be going from room to room cleaning. Yeah, Brendan, I'll be back. Okay. Bring me back a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, yeah, so where do, where do you go? Uh, I mean, I just try to f see if I can follow the, like, uh, the natural path to... Okay, to so... You would have to head back to the main hall and through the door on the right-hand side. As you do so, you see what appears to be a large dining room area. As you keep moving forward, you sense that the ob whatever you're sensing appears to be in another room behind it. So you move into that room and you see what appears to be a large study. Um, there are several seats with multiple bookshelves. From this room, you sense the illusion magic coming from one of the bookshelves and the evocation magic coming from behind one of the bookshelves. Okay, I want to investigate at least the illusion. Okay, as you go to do so, your hand is grabbed and you see a old lady stare at you be like, do you mind? Uh... Uh... No. I write what? On a piece of paper. K 
Can I help you with something? Um. No, thank you. I'm good. And I just resume, like, looking at the <laughs> illusion. She's going to lift up her staff and then, and, like, hold it under your, like, throat and say, Perhaps I wasn't clear. This is my room. I can sense that you're scanning the area. And while I appreciate those who have the gift to investigate, I would remind you not to investigate things that don't belong to you. Mm. All With right. all due respect, please leave. Uh, that's fine. I'll... I'll, uh, all right, I apologize uh, on the piece of paper and then sulk out of the room. Like, I've been very hurt by her he accusations. Yeah. He did get <laughs> caught in the cookie jar. No. At no point did he say he was stealthing. At no point did he, he nope. just walks in. I just, I was, I was thinking it was a common area, not like a, a mm. personal room. But that's fine. All then right. I, I'll, I'll just return to my room defeated and, and go to sleep so I can get a long rest. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. What are the rest of you doing? Anna, you're just outside the Siege Master's door. I, I go back to where the others are. Okay, yeah, you see everyone else still gathered around the uh, the old meeting table. So what are the rest and of you all doing? I'm sleeping. We know that, too. Uh... <laughs> you're knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Lumber. Um, I relay the information that, um, the kobold shared with me. Okay. You guys are aware of everything the kobold had shared. Uh, is Tyler still AFK? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well. He is currently probably telling Rome to stop being a twat. Probably. <laughs> Um, I Most like likely. This character is like the only one that really would have like input on where to go. Because it's like we all know where I would go. Yeah, no, I I kind of agree, but at the same I time, I want to wait for Panda to get back. Basically. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wait for. Panda I guess we'll wait for Panda, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I could go and ask him what he wants to do. Yeah. I'll bug him. You could just give me one second, because my headset doesn't have very good connection on the other side of the apartment. That son of a bitch. I know. Beat him. What do you want to do, babe? For the... Uh, for the... um Going... Sure done did. I'll be real, I was so worried that she was gonna try to hold the fucking kobold up hostage or something. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> you have to understand, I don't know what you fuckers are gonna do. So, like, I'm like whenever I. I'm make a decision because, like, if it was my choice, we know where we're going. I could go to. Brandon already has PTSD from me. Exactly. That's not what I meant, medic. But like, <laughs> <for> the <laughs> character, he's like a fucking lord of hell, and you keep like fucking visiting him, like he's, he's like fucking just buddy. like he's Brandon. your bro, dude. We're we're bros. I don't know what the you're fuck you're saying. You're not though. <laughs> you're not though. Bros. You're not we're bros. Bro. You guys are jealous. You think he thinks this is like full he's house, connected. and it's like the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get here, Rome? His car? <laughs> Where's your car park? Oh, okay. Like, right now, your reputation with Mephistopheles is, like, at respected. You are not even yet at friendly. I don't want to go back to Damn. Mephistopheles. Peg friend. No, he's not unfriendly. He's with... He's it's above neutral. If, if you can imagine something above neutral and between oh, okay. friendly called respected... 
That's where he's at. Like he he acknowledges medics intelligent. He acknowledges his his um, drive and his motivations, but he's definitely not yet seeing him as like a goddamn friend or, and certainly not an equal. Imagine. I want to go to the elves. Okay. Your best bodies. Yeah. V, if he can, he's not going to want to go ever go back to Mephistopheles. I'm going to be understandable. Out. And the dwarves are no. Okay. There's um, Candle Keep, Waterdeep, Feywild. We don't want to go back to the Feywild. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the knowledge of our king. Sorry, I was looking for hardware to mount that fucking CPU cooler. And to clarify here, that's just the knowledge that he was able to come up with. Yeah. Like, out of character, you would know like that there are more than that. That's just what he was able to determine off the top of his head. I mean, at the very least, the elves would be a start. Yeah, that would be a start as far as where to find potentially the... Um... Now, how do we get to the elves is the question. Because I'm uh, elvish, so I would probably know, right? You're half elfish. Here's the real question, though. Did the map fucking save, or did that get fucked over? This map for what? It did get saved. So if you go into player handouts... Okay. Um, you should see Argentus map. I don't want to go back into Argentus, though. No, no, right. But this is the realistically, this is the Swords Coast, or what it's now near Swords Coast. Okay. Okay. So Argentis on this map, map gotcha. this was you don't have everything on here yet. But do you see where the a small delta in the top right, right before a gray mountain area? Um, north, you see the small uh, gray mountain with a red line over it? Yes. Okay. We see where there's the little rivers near it? Yes. That's about where the elven capital is. Okay. There's also a smaller uh, elven city at the Wait, border of that forest. I don't see that map. So where are we? Um, it should be under player handouts, under it notes. It is under player handouts, under notes. Um, I'm sending you now. Message. You're sending me what? I'm sending you a message. Don't read uh -oh. it out loud. Okay, I'll be sure to read it out loud in yep. excruciating Don't detail. Don't read it out loud, just post it. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so where are we at now? Oh, there it is. Sorry, you, you guys think... Um, oh, sorry, I'd like to have two conversations. With you. You're asking where you are now? Yes. Okay, so do you see the brown mountain range to the south uh, east of Argentis? Southeast, yeah. That's about where you guys are. Okay, so it would be several days for us to get there. Or I would no, it would take us a while to get there. How long would it take us to get there, Brandon? Oh, Sorry, Lord doing two conversations at once. Oh yeah, no, it's okay. Like, um, to go from the mountain range to the Elven capital would probably take you about a week on foot. Probably a week and a half on foot. And are we against a clock right now, or what's done has already happened? Uh, you would know that the blue moon has already come and gone. So we're not against a clock. It just is what it is. Like, we're just not trying to stop the region. And no. Yes. I think, I think okay. technically we're always against the clock, but, like, not... Yeah, the I just well, mean, they, like, we're not... It's not like a, specifically said that um, there's a while until the next... Wait, it was either Corundia or one of the um, council members, but they said that there's a while before the next blue moon. Um, okay. 
appears, so we have a little bit of time. But I would say, for the sake of brevity, that we are... Or what? Clock and we want to get this item as quickly as possible. <coughs> okay. Well, then, yeah, let's do it. I mean, we it, it, conceivably it's a it's a month if we're just going by traditional moon cycles. So. Yeah. Is that accurate, Brandon? I think he's still he's chatting. Sack. I'm like, I can't do two things at once. I'm sorry. It's fine. No, you're fine. Oh. <clears throat> sorry. What was your question? Um, is it accurate that the blue moon comes every month, or is it like no. every 100 years? Every 250 years. Oh, every shit. 250 years. So we have. We got a little bit of time. Yeah. Conceivably, we don't just. That's not necessary. And I will say, you know, the regent is going, is apparently trying to summon those familiar, though you do not know how long it takes to yeah. do that. Yeah. So, time is of the essence. Familiar, not familiar. Point. His avatar. Yeah. Specifically okay. the avatar, not of Null, but of Faluzor. And keep in mind, the distance also depends on which path you take. So, Bethmare is the dwarven capital. For example. And from my understanding, we want to avoid that at a fall possible. Yeah, if you go north, you could go through Red Larch. What is Red Larch? It's a town. Is it like a big town? You don't know. You could okay. go through Red Larch up to... Yeah, you could probably take the mountains up through it there. Yeah, you got a couple options. Here, let, let me try giving you a, a better map. Keep in mind that it's 250 years after this map, so... Yeah. Size and scope of things may have changed. Because that map I drew myself, but it's not technically 100% accurate. Though I think I did a pretty fucking accurate job, considering. I would agree. Okay. So, you do not have this map. You would have to find someone to give you this map. But as a player, I will say this is a much more detailed version of that map. I'm putting it in D&D. &D. Okay. Oh, nice. Here, come with me. I'm gonna make you some stuff. Uh, that's actually the wrong one. That's just Neverwinter. I was gonna say, I don't think this is the one from fucking Vandalin. Yeah, that's just Neverwinter. You need the one that's the entire Swords Coast. Like, you could see that section on the map, but that's not gonna be the. It's not gonna help you with the area that you actually need. Oh my god, Brandon. Hmm. Fucking brownie all over the fucking counter. Many things is a lot of Why the fuck is my opera is eating my fucking CPU? Okay, yes. This is a much better map for you guys. Keep in mind that this is, like, fucking very detailed. You'll 
like yeah you have to open another tab and then you'll have to click like zoom in but it is that is the the, the most detailed map i'm probably going to give you so to, to put it into perspective you guys are over or near the mountains of what was water deep water deep has since been destroyed and argentus was built above it but if you can see the mountains to the northeast of Waterdeep, that is about where you are now on that map. Okay. Be nice, kitty. All right. Oh, wow. And there is Waterdeep. <clears throat> yeah. You should be able to see the map that I drew on there. It's just simplified. Oh, it's Foundry eating the shit out of my CPU. You know, looking at this back to back, I did a pretty good fucking draw a job like drawing this. I'm very happy with how well this turned out. That's pretty fucking accurate. That's really blurry for That's me when I yeah. zoom in. No, no, no. Don't zoom in. Hover over the image and it'll have a plus icon. Click it. Hover the, over the image. Okay. Did it do it or no? No. no. Okay, let me let me show my screen. So Actually, let's do it this way. So you should see something like this, right? Here, let me exit out. Like this, right? Yeah. Yes. You're going to pop it up and it's going to show this, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to hit open original. Yes. Oh, yeah, come on. And it's going to be like this. And it's like, oh, man, I can't read that. That doesn't help me. Do you see this little plus, like, hourglass? Click it. Mm -hmm. Oh. <clears throat> And then you yeah, mine just gets in. way too clearer. big. Yeah, like that's yeah. much clearer. Gigantic. Yeah, it's a extremely high definition item. Like yeah, the, no, the image I sent you is like massively detailed. So when I see this, oh, see, oh, uh, okay. So if you can look on my screen, this is where you guys are currently right now, right here. Okay, so if I like mm -hmm. move this slightly, so you can see, compare it to that map. So this right about there is basically everything that's on that map, right? Yeah, uh, it's about that, right? Which is why I was happy with how well it actually turned out because yeah. I didn't realize I had done that that good of a job trying to make it as accurate as I did. Um, you guys are right around here. Okay, here's our gentis. Okay. Over the ruins of Waterdeep. You have the destruction of Neverwinter over here. The Dwarven Castle or Capital is over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are gonna be over here. You also have okay. Silver Moon over here. And a couple more Dwarven or uh Silvery Moon. Okay. Either way, you, there are dwarves and are elves in all of this area and down here. Okay, so we could technically go in that area if we wanted to. But. Alright. Now, if you want an actual map like this in character, you're going to have to get one. In character, this was a sketch that someone drew for you. Okay. I'll have you know I have map books. I had to get one. Oh yeah, come on. Man, okay, this map so even has areas I've never seen before as a even as a player. I've never seen the right side of Fabrin before. Okay, so we've decided to go on to the elves. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Okay. 
An overworld map, a Feywild map, and an Abyss map. These were tomes. <laughs> There's candle keep. Did you hear me, bro? Oh man. Sorry, what was the question? I said I have an overworld map tome, a Feywild, and an abyss map tome. You do. That's true. One hundred percent. All you have to do is open it up. Well, we have maps, but <sighs> so is that where you guys are going to decide to go? So next guess, the next question is yes, the path well, we want to like, take. Oops, he's not here to put his input. Okay, so do you guys want to oh, stop yeah. then? Because we are getting late on time. It's not even an hour or two hours. We're, we're about two and, and a half hour hours left. in. Right, but I mean, do you guys just want to go without Oopsie? I, I, I want to know what you guys are doing. Well, I mean, I'm currently sleeping, but if we want to keep going, I'm fine. I don't care. Up to you guys. Well, I was gonna say I would I would want Oopsie's input to be able to. Because what what happens depends on the route you guys take, right? Because there are many ways you can go about this if you're heading towards the Elven capital. So just to give you some ideas of the possible routes you can take, right? Just for land routes, okay? So if you guys are all looking at the capital, I think I'm still streaming it, right? Yes. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay. So. We're gonna get over here. So the first, came on, do you? the fastest, no. Okay, good. good. The fastest route. Oh, so you said turn on the webcam. God, dude, yes, up. please. Should should I put on some music? Some mm -hmm. um yeah, some like uh slow jazz or something. Yes. My so saddles. the yeah. fastest route in terms of like distance would be to go down the mountain. Go up into Sumber, which this doesn't exist anymore. This has been destroyed, but to where this was. Then follow the road to the Dwarven capital, and then up to the the capital of the elves over here. Alternatively, you can go down, back up through the Deserin River, past Red Larch, up to Yarder, and then take a ride from Yarder to Silvermoon, to the the capital down this way, and we can't go through the high forest. You, I was gonna say that's the third option, is you guys could go go back to Sumber, go through the Unicorn Run into the mountains, get to Kars, and then trek your way through the high forest. Into, that's a horrible idea. It, it's up to you, what path you take, and that's again on land. If you guys find some way to go by air, or I don't know how you'd go by sea, but you know. No, I don't think the high forest is a good idea. The reason why is because we're not we're not keeping in mind of the creeping hand. We got to keep in mind of the creeping hand. dragons fly and can they be tamed? <laughs> I'm sorry, can you Send say that again? With the orb of dragon kind. Oh my yeah. god, this question. Can skeletons fly or can skeleton dragons fly and can they be tamed? You would yeah. know that skeletal dragons by themselves cannot fly Shit. as they do not have any power however some skeletal dragons gain magical flight through enchantments or magical means what if i covered their skeletal wings with like uh leather then in theory you think it might be possible cool it's good to know just curious and your next question was can it be tamed Yes. <laughs> the skeletal dragons tend, at least, the, uh, appear to be undead dragon kin. You are not sure if they are currently under control of anything or if they are simply mindless undead. You are aware there are some spells and artifacts that allow so someone to gain control of undead, but you are not sure how those interact with something that may or may not already have control over said creatures and the orb doesn't give me specific power over dragons does it the orb of dragon kind when properly controlled 
gives the user the ability to target a specific race of dragons and gain control over that race for a short period of time. Now, the version that you guys are using allows you to gain control over all dragons over a, a certain distance. This is, that, like, this is a modified version. In character, there's technically five orbs of dragon kind. Like, in, in universe. But I have modified it that they basically just made the one. Could I conceivably control undead dragons and use them to uh, destroy... You would know that an undead dragon isn't considered a undead. And it is not considered a dragon. It is considered an undead. This is bullshit. Take, take knowledge of that as you see fit. I hate this game. Furthermore, this game I should clarify <laughs> that the last two times you've attempted an arcana check to try to gain some semblance of control over the device, you rolled a natural one and a four. Because I'm, I'm really so, good at rolling, that's why. So keep that in mind in terms of how much <laughs> control you think you may have over this object. Uh-huh. That's okay. good. Yeah, I'll give it a mind. Um, I think we should go toward the left. But I again, I want Oopsie's input because I don't want to do anything without him. And I don't... And I, but I don't know if I'm going to be here next week, so... Yeah. Because, wait, no, I will be here next weekend because I'm off on the weekend. Never I'll mind, I take Brandon, it back. I would like to talk uh, to you, if at all possible. Yeah, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just annoyed. Okay. But I I Not personally ago, think but... Okay. I personally think that we should go kind of the left to the left. To the Does left to the left. I would, if we can, I would like to stop at some point in, in a city or something Beyonce, to see if I could yeah. uh, yes. upgrade my equipment. But. What do you know you about Beyonce, do, Brandon? <laughs> Very little. I think she was going to be part of... Um, oh, God. I might be getting the names mixed up. It might have been Shakira. But I believe Beyonce was in the one animal movie. It might mm -hmm. have been Shakira. Lion King? No. Shakira was um, in Oh, it was, it, was, it was Shakira then. They're all the same. <laughs> Did yeah. you just say that Shakira and Beyonce are yes. the same? Okay. Are we surprised? Okay. Not really. Not? No, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think we should go to through so to the. It's almost dead. Follow the Desterian River. Desterian. Desarin. 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 Desarin River. Up, and then go to the right, and yeah. Works for me. I will say, Sakes, if you decide to use your map, because you have it, I'll say you guys have full access to the world map. I, mean, he, I, I will make. Using the map. I will um, make like a note if something is no longer there. Because, again, this is as it is in canon. Like, we are playing about 250 years in the future. So, keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, so, too so, me tired. so, are we, um... Are we stopping and waiting? That's all. Uh, yeah. That's fine, yeah. Damn it, Panda. <laughs> Make it be yeah, you hear something fault. sad? I'm the first with time you, I babe. saw this map, I swear to God, that said uh, armpit, and I really nice. don't know why my brain read that because it's not even close. No, it's not. <laughs> not even. So are we done? I guess we're done for tonight. Yeah. Okay.